In today's video, I'm going to go through setting up a Raspberry Pi camera. Sending this video via RTSP to a Unify Cam Proxy. This Cam Proxy will connect over into my Unify switch and send video to protect. Lastly, what I'll have is motion sitting in the center here, subscribing to the video from our camera via RTSP and sending motion events back over. This will allow us to do motion timeline capture in Unify Protect. So let's get started. To build our security camera, I will be extending on my previous video on building a Pi Cam with the RTSP server. On GitHub, there is a project to take RTSP cameras and feed them into a Unified Protect as a source. As a bonus, it has a web service that we can call to trigger a start and stop for motion events, although the processing for motion events are done elsewhere. For that, I am using Motion, which has the ability to use a RTSP source and call a web endpoint on detection of motion events. I will be building this in my Kubernetes cluster in my lab. Let's take a look at the YAML files for deployment. First thing I need is to create a PVC for storing the certificates so that they persist on reboots. I have set it to one gig in size, as that is the smallest I can use, although my cluster is using NFS, so quotas do not work. Next is the config map used by the motion container. We need to set the correct netcam URL to the URL for our RTSP camera. The two settings for the start and end of motion events do not need to change, as I will be creating a deployment with the unified cam proxy and motion as a sidecar. This removes the need to find pod IP addresses, as all networking between the sidecar and the main pod occur on loopback. Next, into deployment. Here we can use the standard container from Docker Hub and overwrite the command. This is so as I can test for the certificate and only generate one if it's not pre-existing. If this was not done, then every time the pod restarts, it would create a new certificate and therefore need to be recreated in the Protect website. Next, I customize the start command so I can turn on the HTTP API setting for the CAM proxy. I pass in all the variables required via a secret using mfrom secret ref. And lastly, set up the motion sidecar, mounting its config map. The important thing to note in the secrets are the MAC address that must be unique among cameras, that the host is set to your protect server or UDM Pro in my case, and the RTSP settings to reflect your camera settings. Before we deploy the code, I will need to create a new camera and obtain the token. In Unified Protect, go to the camera page and select Add Device from the top right hand corner. From the list, select the G3 Micro, and then the Continue to Web button. The Wi-Fi settings will not be used and can be filled with anything. Once something is entered into both lines, we can generate a QR code. Take a screenshot of the code and upload it to xing.org as per the GitHub documents. This will decode the text in the QR code. What is needed is the fourth line of the raw text as that is the token for the camera. I will update the secret in Kubernetes deployment and now we will deploy. Switching back to protect, we can see the camera connected. I can now set the record mode to only motion events and set the detection settings, noting that the seconds prior and post detection are extra to any that I have already configured in motion. If you liked the video, please press the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.